Yeah. Uh, it's massive. I mean, I was first alternate yesterday afternoon, so just being here right now is just a huge step in the right direction. Um, just no downside right now, the only way is up, so I'm just excited to be here. Uh, probably end up drawing a lot of experiences on the junior players probably 10, 10, 12 years ago. So uh, uh, they set up the Sunday pens for us, and I just remember it was just one of the best tournaments of the year for us. So I'm just excited to finally be, you know, living out the dream. What was that like finding out that you had actually gotten the email? Yeah, I was playing with Kevin Na yesterday, and he said uh, he was playing with John Ha a couple weeks ago. John Ha was first alternate, and then got in mid-round, and I'm like, come on, I'm hoping for the same vibes. And then next thing you know, I look at my phone, I got like 50 text messages. And uh, so we were in. It was an awesome feeling because I'm playing good. Uh, the results in the past few tournaments don't show it, but I'm starting to just round the corner. And, and Kevin's like, man, if you just get in, like you're gonna have a great week. And then next thing you know, I'm in. So it's it's a pretty good feeling. So what about the course? Do you think suits your game? You gotta. You, you really had every, every club in the bag. Um, I think it's you really gotta have have everything going. But uh, first things first, I'd say you gotta put in the fairway. Give yourself a you know. These pins, you, they can tuck them in so many different areas of the green. You really want to just position yourself on tee. One of the strengths of my game is driving it. So um, it's just it's it's a course that really suits my eye, though. I mean, you can have everything go in your way statistically, um, but if it doesn't suit your eye, then it's not going to do any good. So for me, I've always had played well here in the past. I had good experiences here playing the junior players. Um, and uh, 17, I have, I'm yet to miss the green, so knock on wood, uh, just good vibes here. Yeah. yeah. What's, uh, what's the atmosphere out here? Been yeah. Uh, it's like, it's mad, it's 10x what the junior players was. Uh, you know, I had my mom and dad following me around for the junior players, and you had a couple other parents out there, maybe some college coaches um, just recruiting. But now, you know, with I think it's 10,000 fans a day out here. Um, it's not going to be where it normally is, but I, but uh, you know, just for us having fans back, just anything helps right now. Just to be able to hit a shot and hear the roar of the crowd, or you know, just have some claps going on. It's it gives you a lot of energy. I love having the fans back. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to uh, you know, 16, 17, 18. Um, I just it, it's just it's just a great feeling. Uh, the options, just, you mean like, just, yeah, you got to go to the drop circle, <laughs> but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, right? You're aiming for, I mean, honestly, my caddy and I were talking about, we spent a, probably 20, 30 minutes on the hole yesterday, and it's, it's, it's so funny because it's a 130-yard shot, right, 135-yard shot, but as soon as that wind kicks in and off the right or down and off the right, it just swirls so much in there, you could hit the difference between three clubs. You could be hitting eight iron, you could be hitting sand wedge. And so we just saw, you know, playing in the center of the green, anything on the, on the green is a good shot. And you're so used to being able to attack pins from 135 yards, but I've just, obviously, obviously I've seen all the past, you know, horror stories from that hole. And um, just being able to watch the players over the last 10 years and, and growing up being a huge golf fan, I think I can take a lot out of watching it as a fan and apply it to this year actually playing it for the first time. You yeah. excluded the last three holes, which are very nice. What's the hole that you like the most? Favorite hole? I like uh, I like 11. Uh, par five. I like it a lot. I just think you got to hit a good drive, and then you, you got to step up in a good second shot. And if you don't commit to the second shot, you could easily make a what would be a bad par or even a bogey. So uh, you just got to really step up and hit two committed swings, and you can make a three. You can also make a six, and I like that about those that hole. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.